Ah, I gotta brush that off. So what I have here is 3x minus 2 divides into 6x cubed minus 16x squared plus 17x minus 6. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go through the algorithm of finding the, of dividing polynomials just so you can get an idea. So when dividing polynomials, even though it's very similar to dividing numbers, there's a little bit differences because we're dividing a polynomial here, we're not dividing just a number. So what I'm gonna first gonna do is the first term of my polynomial, I'm gonna divide only. So I have 3x divides into 6x cubed. And that divides into there 2x squared times. And the way we can always double check that is remember, once you divide a number in, then we multiply our term back. So 2x squared times 3x is 6x cubed. And 2x squared times negative 2x squared is a negative 4x squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the top term from the last term. And you could kind of represent zeros there if you want. So to do that, I'm going to put everything around parentheses. Because if I didn't put parentheses, it would just look like a negative 6x cubed and a negative 4x squared. But we got to listen to it. Say it out loud. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0x cubed. We'll just leave it there. Negative 16x squared minus a negative 16x, negative 4x squared. Now a minus a negative becomes positive, so now I'm left with a negative 12x squared. Well, I'm not subtracting. I have zeros here, so you could just bring down the 17x and the negative 6. So now we take a look at 3x and we say, does 3x divide into negative 12? Yes, it does. 3x divides into negative 12 negative 4x times. Negative 4x times 3x is going to be a negative 12x squared. Negative 4x um, times negative 2 becomes a positive 8x. So now what we need to do is, again, subtract the sides. So I'm going to put them in parentheses and subtract. So negative 12x squared minus a negative 12x squared is 0x squared. 17x minus 8x is going to be 9x. And negative 6, I have nothing to subtract it from, so I'll just bring it down. All right, we're here at the final stretch. 3x divides into 3x three times. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 2 is going to be a negative 6. Again, subtract the two binomials. 9x minus 9x is 0x. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is 0. So now you can say your remainder is 0. And remember, when we have a remainder 0, that tells us that this polynomial divides evenly into this polynomial. And once you know that, since this evenly, since this evenly divides into this, you know that this times this equals that. Right? Your divisor divides into your dividend and gives you your quotient. Your quotient multiplied by your divisor gives you your dividend. And that's why it's so important for you to understand that these two are what we call our factors of the polynomial. Because these two multiply to give us this polynomial. And remember, when you know the factors, you can then work to find the zeros. And that's why it's so important to knowing this long division for at least what we're going to talk about um, as far as with the polynomials and rational functions. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it helped. Thanks.